It's time for the Proceed Halftime Show. If you need seed, think Proceed. Joining us today is District Sales Manager Dave Gertz. Dave, always great to have you on the yeah, show, my good friend. To be here. Let's talk about your soybean varieties for starters. It's real exciting because of the options that the farmer's going to have this spring or in, in 2020 spring season. Uh, with, with the GT27 variety, we're going to have the Enlist variety, which is a three way product uh, using Liberty. Uh, enlist and using a co collated 2,4-D with Roundup. Uh, we've got the uh, the Extend program, which we've had now for a couple of years, which is really cleaning up our fields, and and, and it's looking very, very good. And it, and it looks like there's going to be some really good uh, programs and prices out there for the growers. You and I were talking. More guys seem to be also looking at sunflowers. What's happening there? Uh, sunflowers is real exciting with the, the way the crop looks right now. Uh, the pricing on the sunflower market has been strengthening each week, so it's really exciting. And Proceed has got a couple of brand new varieties that we're going to be in introducing in 2020. And one of the things I love you guys do every year is this Right Choice program. This year it's called Fill the Hopper Right Choice program. What's going on? Right, we've got a. You're going to be getting a Yeti hopper with with the qualifying order, and then after that, there's going to be items that can be filled into the hopper. Uh, whether you like uh, uh, a deer stand or whatever you'd want, we've teamed up with Ace Hardware uh, to, to bring that uh, as, a, as a program to help you fill your hopper and uh, take care of your needs. Great stuff. Want to give out your website real quick as well? Uh, Proceed.net uh, is our website. Uh, uh, my phone is always on, 302-0356. Anytime you want, give me a holler. Great. Thank you, Dave. We appreciate it. Again, check out Proceed.net. A lot of great programs there. And stick around. Much more coming up right here on the Proceed Halftime Show. Welcome into your Proceed Halftime Report. Beth Hool joined by Kyle Emanuel, a 36-0 NDSU lead here at Target Field. Well, I think this is everything Matt Ants could have wanted out of, out of his team in this first game. Trey Lance getting it going early, the, the defense getting a three and out early. Everything's going right for the Bison right now. Well, let's get right into these highlights. We've got plenty to go over here. The Bison opening things up uh, with that run game, showing off what they can do. Yeah, and I, I, knew, I think we knew the trenches were going to be an advantage for NDSU early on and, and pretty much all game, and they really showed it with their ability to run the ball. Open with Demetri Williams there, then uh, Adam Cofield really spreading it around as well. Yeah, they have a plethora on the backfield, and it opens up for right here, Trey Lance, and this unbelievable run. Hey, wait a what a way to start your NDC career. How about it? That's his uh, third career touchdown. His He had two last year. Then they go for two. Well, why not? I, I love the coach and puts this on film. Now every other team has to look at this and they have to prepare for it. It's exactly what you want to do. Bison right back to that run game. This time it's Fargo's own Ty Brooks. Well, and he's able to catch the edge here. If any time as a defense, if you give up the edge, you're going to be able to find some, some running room there. Well, then that number 11, Phoenix Scrolls breaking for the end zone. I don't think you can uh, say just how hard of a catch that is to make when it's directly above his head. Darren, Darren Sproul's cousin right there. And that's Phoenix 40 Sproul, second catch. drive, two plays, 68 yards for the Bison. They leave 15 nothing. And then second quarter here, heading the other way, back to that run game. Always back to the run game. And I think that's going to be something you'll hear me talk about all season. And then that goes to Josh Babbage. A touchdown catch there. Your Bobcat the, heavy the lifting. The tight aboard. ends. I told, I, I'm, they're making me look good here. And look. then they go again. Noah Gendorf. It's now 29 nothing. NDSU. Well, we knew with Ben Ellison being out, someone would have to, uh, to, to step up there. And the tight ends are definitely doing that today. Well, then how about the defense? James Hendricks. The former quarterback. <laughs> look at him. He, he's, it, it, I think someone might have got fooled there. He made a great His play. His biceps are huge now. He's clearly been in the weight room. The Bison uh, making work here. Are they get back to that run game Trey Lance taking it to the outside this is awesome right here I love this I, I mean I don't know if coach Jens loves it but I love it <laughs> just be able to put your your head down and, and get a couple more yards in. absolutely well then uh, Ty Brooks here through the middle again for the Bison back in that run game and then another touchdown and another tight end <laughs> I, 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 this is ability right here Trey Lance to get outside and then find the open guy on and finds Babbage once again NDSU leading 36 nothing there at the half we'll look at our uh, uh, halftime stats here brought to you by North Dakota certified seed producers on these stats maybe maybe not yet all right well we'll get to those after the break an exciting first half for NDSU football we'll be back with more on your proceed halftime report
Welcome back to the Proceed Halftime Report. Field level here at Target Field. The Bison leading uh, the Bulldogs 36 nothing at halftime. Let's take a look at the first half stats presented by the North Dakota Certified Seed Producers. So we bring those up for you. North Dakota State dominating in just about every aspect of this game. Total yardage 349 to 67. Obviously getting it done on the ground and through the air 177 and 172. It's that yards per play that's really got to be frustrating for Butler. Just two and a half yards per play while NDSU is averaging a first down every time they run the football. Let's go around the Valley. Just four other games happening today in the Missouri Valley with your uh, with the Missouri Valley scoreboard that we have. Northern Iowa and Iowa State playing in a thriller in Ames, Iowa. The, the Panthers giving the Cyclones all they can handle. 26-29 Iowa State the winner in three overtimes. Kansas is able to get past Indiana State 24-17. Montana and South Dakota, they're locked in a good one in Vermillion. 31-17 in Vermillion. Illinois State and Northern Illinois still on deck tonight. Those are your Valley scores from around the Valley. 36 to nothing, North Dakota State leads here at Target Field in the 2019 kickoff. We will be back with second half action right after this. Well, welcome back to your Proceed Halftime Report. Kyle Emanuel back up here with me in the booth. What do you want to see from the Bison second half? Well, I think, you know, Coach Hens from this team, you really don't want to see a drop off. I know it was, you know, a dominant first half, but things can change quickly. And we, this is kind of what we expected, but you don't want to see a drop. You want to see something start quick, whether it's defense. I think defense is out there first. You want to see a three and out, and then hopefully you can get some young guys in and gain some really valuable experience for them. Yeah, we saw some great depth from the uh, running back group, but you really want to start to see that throughout. You know, they've rotated a lot of guys through those key positions, but let's see a few more of those wide receivers maybe even. There's people all over the board that need these reps, and like you said, uh, Trey Lance is going to be thrown to a, a lot of new guys this year, and if they can get in and gain some valuable, like I said, a valuable game experience, it's just different than a practice. And really quick, how important is that shutout? Uh, it's big. It's always big, especially as a defense, you want that. But I, and, and then as starters, you kind of come out and you're hoping that your backups can, can continue and finish out the job. A lot of pride still left on the field for this second half for NDSU football. We're going to toss it back over to Brian Sean and Lee Timmerman now. All right, thanks so much, Beth. We are here with Ryan Gellner, who is with Butler head coach Jeff Boris. Coach, it, it didn't go the way you wanted right away. Trey Lance has been an awful lot for you guys to handle on offense. <laughs> There's no question. They're really good. We knew they were good. They might be better than we than we uh, originally thought. But we just got to keep playing. You know, we don't have any 35 yard or 35 point plays. We just got to keep playing, and uh, I know we will. And um, you know, we said the bar was high, and it's certainly really high. There's no question. And they're a really good football team. What'd you tell the kids at halftime to try to just spark that? I mean, it's it's it, you got to play to play, and plays lead to drives, and drive leads to quarters, and quarters lead to game. The score takes care of itself. So really nothing's changed. You just got to play the play. That's all, you got to control what you control. That's all you can control. And uh, we just got to keep competing, put something uh, on tape here in the second half we're going to be proud of. Yep, really appreciate the time, Coach. Yep, Best of luck. You. Thank you, Ryan.